All right, guys, I am in the Sierra Madre Mountains. I'm at the base of the Sierra Madre Mountains in southern Wyoming. A lot of you guys out there, uh, maybe you're hikers or backpackers, or maybe you're hunters, and you're getting ready to go on that hunt of a lifetime for an elk, antelope, mule deer, whatever. And you're going to get out into God's great wide open. If you're going to get out into an area where there are mountains or valleys or plains or whatever, you want to have some type of signaling gear with you because you may get lost in the woods. It happens. You may be in the mountains in September or October and everything's cool until a freak snowstorm comes in and you can't get out. All right. People are going to be looking for you. I'm going to give you a super easy, helpful hint, something to help you save your life and help somebody rescue you and find you. So you've got a pack, right? Obviously, you're going to take a pack with you. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you, but... This right here, I got this at uh, Bass Pro. They have my Cabela's, they have my Bass Pro, and basically anywhere where they sell marine supplies. If they sell boats, they probably sell this. This is a, a pack, a three-in-one pack, and what's it got in it? It has orange smoke, it has a handheld flare, and it has a whistle. So let's open this sucker up. So first thing, an orange whistle. They say that's kind of silly. Well, actually, it's not because if somebody's trying to find you and you're sitting there screaming, help, 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 your voice is going to go hoarse and you're not going to be able to scream, help, help, help for very long. <whistles> Easy as that, right? Orange whistle. <whistles> and it even comes with a little yellow lanyard. So I'll put that in my pocket, put the lanyard on it later. What else do we have? We have basically daytime, nighttime or high-vis, low-vis. This one right here, smoke. This is orange smoke. It will, it will burn, according to the instructions, for one full minute. All right? This one, a signal flare. This will burn for three full minutes. Right? Three full minutes. When do we ignite our signal flares or our smoke? Now, obviously, right now, it's super bright, it's beautiful. If there was a plane or a helicopter searching for me, or maybe I'm on the side of a mountain and I can see trucks driving or what have you, what are they gonna see easier, the flare or the smoke? Well, obviously, smoke. Smoke is for daytime, really bright light, because it will stand out. What about in fog, snowstorms, darkness, whatever? Uh, it's dusk, and the plane the, the plane that's looking for you is going to make one last pass right before the sun goes down. You light this thing out, and you and you wave it. All right, we don't we, just, we don't do this right when we realize we're lost. Okay, you wait until somebody's actually looking for you, and then flare when it's dark or bad visibility, smoke when it's light daytime. All right, folks, let's demonstrate the orange smoke signal. Step number one, remove the black cap to expose the striker. Pull this cap off. Strike the top cap with the top of the smoke. Now, hopefully there's a helicopter. Maybe there's an airplane. You're like, hey! I'm down here, orange smoke. It's probably too dark to use the smoke now. So we're gonna use the flare. How do you use the flare? It's really simple. You take, you pop off the black cap, you expo expose the striking surface like so. You pull that off and that exposes this surface. You put the two of them together and you flick hard. All right, now I've got my flare going. Should go for three minutes. So now, if you had to, you could set this down and then you could light another one and another one. You can see this from miles away. 